Welcome to CF Moto Side Rider. Today I'm going to show you how to install a KFI snow plow to your CF Moto Z Force 800EX. So, really quickly, I went to a local dealer and I wasn't even looking for a snow plow. I just went for a winch cable bumper and I got looking at the plows there. They had a click and go to and they also had the KFI plow. And I was thinking of going with the Kimpex click and go to plow system because I have that on my ATV. And I really enjoy it. But as I got looking at the KFI snow plow, I thought it looked a lot stronger. It looked more beefy. So I asked the guys, I said, what, can you give me a price on both? And actually the KFI plow was cheaper than the click and go to plow system. But it's the strength of the KFI plow that sold me on and not so much the price. I just really thought this looked a lot stronger and I thought I'd give it a try. So now that we have it at home, we don't have snow yet, but we're going to install this KFI plow and I'm going to show you how to do it. So what we have here is the mount for the CF Moto Z Force 800EX. It looks fairly straightforward to put together. This isn't going to be hard at all. And then of course we got the plow and I'm going to show you this plow before we install it. So here's the back side of the KFI snow plow. As you can see down here, the, the push tube is pretty beefy looking and it looks strong. And then you can just look at the, the construction of this plow. It looks really strong. I can tell it's gonna be durable. As far as here, we got your sliders. They're a lot stronger looking than the Kimpex one that I have, the Kimpex plow. And this metal here is a, the steel here, the, the blade looks a lot stronger too. Also, you get this rubber here, keeps the snow down from flying up. You don't get that with the Kimpex. So I'm really looking forward to trying out this new plow. It's gonna be different for me, but I think it's gonna work just fine. So there you go, you got your KFI plow made in the USA. And right now I have it sitting on a furniture dolly. It just makes it easier to move around in here in the garage and I can move it wherever I want if I have to. We're gonna install the mount for the CF Moto Z Force. So what we have to do is we're gonna to have to put the plow mount right up here. And it's gonna go here like this. So what we're gonna to have to do is pull off this fair lead. Now I didn't name this thing. I didn't make it up. This is what I read in the instructions. This is called a fair lead. And it's for your uh, winch cable and hook come through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this to fit the mount up in there, like here. And we're gonna have, I think it's other bolts because it's thicker. We're gonna put other bolts and, and nuts and then we'll put the fair lead back on. And then we're gonna go underneath here and we're gonna put U-bolts through the first part of the frame there, the, the bar. And this will, the bottom here will mount to that bottom bar right down here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do in here is we're gonna put this winch in free flow. So we're just gonna turn it so then now we can remove the winch. Okay, now we've loosened the fair lead. We can start to put the mount on. All right, so now we're going to put the mount plate up here like this. We're going to line it up like this. And we're going to grab our fair lead at the same time. And we're going to run the bolts through here and into the holes to put the nuts on. It'd be nice if I had a helper to hold all this for me, but I don't. So we'll see how this is going to work out. I get, okay, I got them in there now. Now I just have to get the locking nuts on the other side. First we'll put our washers on. Oh my, we got it, we got one on. Okay, we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll squeeze the washer on. There we go, boys, we got the nut on. Okay, now we'll get our wrench in here again. Snug it up a bit on that side. We'll snug up the other side before we put the U-bolts on on the bottom part. Now we'll go underneath and put the U-bolts on. Okay guys, we got the U-bolts in, the two U-bolts for the bottom of the mount right here. That was a lot of fun. Like I left this loose to make sure that 
I wouldn't be having a hard time, but I still had a hard time. <laughs> took me about seven minutes, I guess, to get those U-bolts and nuts into place, maybe a little longer. But now I'm just going to tighten them up with my ratchet. I'm not going to use the impact gun just in case, you know, I don't want to break those U-bolts. So let's just continue tightening this up. We'll tighten the two up here and we're ready to mount our plow on. So I got ahead of myself. I forgot about the winch bumper. So we'll put that on now. So this is going to go like right here so that when you bring in your winch cable, you don't come in too far with the hook itself, with the hook and get it jammed in here. You got a winch bumper and it kind of creates a bit of a shock absorber. Now I have to take this apart, run the cable through it, and then put it on here. So, and then tighten these back up. So I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, fast forward to the next morning. I had company come by last night. We had dinner and that. So I didn't come back out, it was too late. But anyways, I did manage to get the winch bumper onto the cable. So as you know, the snow plow was on a furniture dolly. So I just rolled it back here and I lift it up on the push tube lined it up with the mount where the holes are in the mount here and I put the two pins on one on each side and then I attached the winch cable and we're going to try it out now. Now I don't know if I mentioned this plow blade is 72 inches wide. The CF Moto Z Force from tire to tire outside I think it's 59, 60 inches. So when you swivel your blade to the left or to the right it's going to be just perfect for when you're plowing snow on an angle the snow is going to go outside of the wheels instead of in front of the wheels. So you're not driving on top of snow. So we're going to open the door here in the garage, back the CF Moto outside because it's really sunny. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So here we are, we got the KFI snow plow on the CF Moto Z Force. Looks good, 72 inches wide. It's gonna really plow a good wide swath of snow. I figure two swipes up, one up that driveway and down the driveway, we should be good. So next we, what we have to do is we have to adjust the shoes here on the plow blade. So we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you that right now. So the reason we're gonna adjust these snowshoes so that this blade here, so we don't want this dragging in our gravel and we're pushing gravel, we're on the pavement scraping too low. So what we have to do is adjust these shoes. So what I can see here is we have some kind of pin I've never seen before. That's easy enough, just pull it out. And we have a bunch of washers and that's gonna help us adjust our depth for our plow shoes. So check out these snowshoes. These things are pretty heavy duty, nice, thick, strong material. So. I can see I've adjusted it a couple times. What I'm gonna go with, for, for mine driveway anyway, is I'm gonna put one washer on the bottom. Then I'm gonna put a washer between the rubbers. Put another rubber here. Put another washer. So it's one, 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 and one, one. Then we're gonna slip it through here. And we're just gonna pile the remaining washers on top of the pin. I'll bring you around and show you this. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's whatever you want, whatever you want for your gravel driveway or pavement. So I put the remaining washers on here so that the shoe doesn't drop down lower and then put your pin on through here. That's it. Now we'll give it a try and I bet you we got about a three quarter to a half, half inch to a three quarter of an inch gap from the cutting edge. So we'll come in here, grab our remote, let it out. So that there is pretty ideal. You know, I will measure that. I'd say it's about three quarters of an inch. Actually, it's one inch. So that'll be good. You know, just enough that you get over the rocks of your gravel driveway. So maybe if you want to, on your driveway, you want to get a lower scrape, you just take out the snowshoe, drop, take a rubber out, drop it down really close to your pavement, and it'll give a good clean scrape. Now, another thing you can do is you can adjust the pitch of your plow blade as well. It looks weird with this rubber on. It looks like you're leaning forward, but when you pull that back, that looks about right. I would say that is good the way it is. 
So if you want to adjust the pitch of your plow blade, so what you would do is undo these bolts here and then just adjust the pitch of your plow blade. Um, and there's multiple holes here that you could use to uh, adjust that, whatever pitch you like. But I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is. That looks good. So now here, when we wanna swivel our blade, we pull on this pin and we can turn it either way we want. Lock it in place and it'll stay there. So I don't know if you can tell here, that plow, well, the snow won't come out this way anyway, but it's pretty much on the outside of the wheel here. And we'll come around this side. And it's very much outside the wheel here. You don't have to worry about driving over the snow that you're plowing. So I think I covered pretty much everything on in the installation of this KFI snow plow to a CF Moto Z Force. And when you're not using your plow blade and you are leaving it attached to your side by side, be sure to always put your blade down on the ground. Take the weight off the suspension of your side by side. And you know what? I can't wait to make videos of plowing this driveway and showing you how I plow the driveway. It's going to be a hoot. So be sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss that. Hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.